Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm a full-time reseller, primarily on sites like Whatnot and Poshmark. I thrift clothing items and then I resell them. So I just got home from the bins and the bins are a pay by the pound Goodwill. I ended up buying 80 pounds of women's clothing. I spent uh, just over a hundred dollars on everything. And most of the stuff I will be putting into my Whatnot show tonight. I have a big Whatnot show. Um, it's Monday, just for time reference. Anyway, I'm excited to show you guys what I got and uh, get everything prepped and ready to go for tonight's show. So when I first got there, it was super good. I was finding all kinds of stuff. It was super exciting. And then it just kind of died off. So I was there from about 9 a.m. to um, noon. But I would say I bought most of the stuff within the first hour of me being there. So that's always kind of a bummer. Um, here's the first item. It is this really pretty sweater dress. This one is from Old Navy, but I am buying things based on a style as well. This is an extra large Old Navy sweater dress and it's brand new with tags. And I thought this was just like a perfect fall piece. So I definitely went ahead and grabbed that guy. Here's another little basic um, sweater. This one's from Gap, it's an extra large. But look at the colors in this. It is just so pretty. This marl blue with this big boat neck. I couldn't leave this one behind. So these are really great whatnot items. Just cozy everyday pieces. Kind of the stuff I love to find for whatnot. These are a pair of men's Nike Tech. One of my favorite Nike items to find. They need to be washed, but that's fine. Um, in a size medium. I can either sell these on Poshmark for $30 to $40. Put them in my whatnot auction. I'm not sure quite yet. This is one of my favorite finds of the day. Oh my gosh, this was so good. This is a Wilson's leather jacket. There's the Wilson's leather tag and this one's a size small and it is so cool. It is like, look at this jacket. I'll probably sell this. I'm a local vendor at a store called Tiger's Den. I'll probably put this in Tiger's Den. It has a spot, like a water spot right here, but I have a suede eraser. So I'm just gonna take my suede eraser and I should be able to clean that off. It shouldn't be a huge deal. So I'll test that out. And I mean, for a dollar a pound or whatever, $1.29 a pound, I definitely was gonna take a chance on that one. This is a jacket. Okay, I looked this jacket up. This is from a brand called Live Mechanics. It's a 2XL and it is a wool men's jacket selling on Greld in places like that um, for over $100. So I could tell the quality was really good. I had to go ahead and grab it. It's got all of these like really cool details. Here's the tag. And I will definitely get this one listed on the internet <laughs> somewhere, somewhere on the internet. There's many places now. It's not just like I'm selling on eBay and Poshmark. It's like what of the hundred platforms am I going to sell this one on? I'm not sure yet. Um, L.L. Bean cardigan. I do love picking up L.L. Bean basics. They definitely have a great following. Um, they sell really quickly for me on Poshmark. This one is a size medium and it is, it does have the little like tortoise shell buttons. Let me button one so you can see it. And it's in minty condition, like no flaws, no issues, no signs of wear. So I'll probably put this in my whatnot show tonight. And then if it doesn't sell there, I'll put it onto Poshmark. This is an Airy from American Eagle cropped mock neck sweater. I love selling Airy on whatnot. So that will definitely go over there. This is a little quilted jacket from Thread and Supply. I don't always buy Thread and Supply. Um, if it's a cute, style I will buy it and run it on whatnot this is a quilted fleece line like bomber not no I don't think it's like a bomber style almost a bomber style but very cute very on trend perfect for the season that we're in and it's a size medium so that will go over on to whatnot we have a pair of cotton leggings from Old Navy I do like selling Old Navy leggings there is a whole fun like following for these leggings and these are the um cotton ones so they're super soft I'm trying to find the size on here but anyway these are a nice green pair of leggings throw those on whatnot this is a really fun um nike piece it's a size small feels like it's oversized though look at this like slit on the side and then i love that it has the v neck and the v on the back and it's a newer nike piece in black 
definitely be putting that on whatnot. This is made by Anthropology, and it's just like a white gathered shirt in a size medium. How cute is she? Like a little basic layering piece. Needs to be washed, but that's to be expected. I try and wash basically everything. Unless it's in with tags and I'll just steam it. But for the most part, I wash everything that comes from the bins. This is a Nike tank that I somehow got all twisted up. But here it is. This is a Nike tank. And this one's a size uh, extra large. What I'll do with basic pieces like this is I try and find like a Nike pair of leggings. And then I lock them up and I run them together on whatnot. Um, these are just Columbia waterproof rain pants. Or wait. Yeah, these are Columbia's. I love finding these. They sell really well on Poshmark. I'll probably be able to sell them for about $20. This is a pair of um, faux leather extra large sheen leggings. And I don't always buy sheen, but you guys, pieces like this, they're great. And this really does feel like it's brand new, um, perfect condition. And somebody will love these. I'll be able to sell them on whatnot for, you know, $10 or so. And that's great. These are a pair of TNA from Aritzia leopard print, like wide leg kind of baggy pants with those zipper pockets. I thought these were really cool. I love selling Aritzia brands like TNA and Wilfred and all of that. So that will go on whatnot. This is a little Murano wool icebreaker sweater. It is a size 12 years. So this one will actually go to one of my kids because they always need this kind of stuff for school. I was really excited this is their size, so I will definitely be washing that and giving it to them. This is a Chaser extra large thermal top in this really pretty green. I'll wash it and send it over to whatnot. Okay, I found some cool leggings. These are Fabletics, and these are just like a seamless legging with lots of details on them. We love a Fabletics moment. This is a pair of leggings from Athleta. They're an extra large and they have this faux leather tuxedo stripe down the legs, which is really cool. So definitely be putting those on whatnot tonight. We have a um, another Old Navy pair of leggings. I grabbed these because I like the pocket. They have like cargo pockets on them. How cool are these? So Old Navy, but very, very cool. And uh, why can't I find the size on these? That's very weird. Usually, the size is right here. I'll figure it out later. I'm sure the size is on there somewhere. I'm just missing it. These are a pair of jeans from Madewell. I don't always pick up skinny jeans, but I'll still pick up Madewell skinny jeans from the bins. They are a size 29, which is a great size. And they're just a high rise skinny jean, very wrinkled, need a good wash, easy peasy. Okay, I got this from my friend who was also there. I actually paid $5 for this. This is just like a boutique brand maxi jacket, but I've been wanting one of these for myself. And so I grabbed this from her for me. However, it's a size small. So I don't know if it will fit me or not. I didn't want to try it on with the bins because I had all these layers on. Um, but if it doesn't fit me, I'll run it in the auction. But I'm really, really hoping that this fits me. It is in mint condition. When I saw it, I was like, ooh, I really want that. And she's like, you can have it for five bucks. And I was like, yes, please, let me, let me buy that from you. Okay, this is a Vince poncho. How cool is this? This is Vince. It's a one size, made in the USA, like wool cashmere poncho. I thought this was so cool, you guys. Definitely gonna put this in my whatnot show tonight. I'm trying to figure out, oh, it's 100% cashmere. Oh my gosh. Wow, wow, okay. I'm trying to figure out what, I, what I'm gonna do for my show right still. If I wanna do everything or if I just wanna do like a cozy theme or what's the theme going to be, we'll figure it out. Um, Universal Threads, I got this for whatnot. It has this really cool like tie feature in the back, which I thought was neat and it's brand new with tags. And it's a size, I think extra large or one X, which is a great size, so. Really, really pretty little sweater. Extra, extra large. That's what size it is. Some jeans. These are from Can Can. These are a size 1, 24s, distressed, like straight leg jeans. Can Can it has a really devoted following. If you don't pick up their jeans, you probably should. This had no brand um, that I saw right off the bat. Do you have a brand? No. 
this is just a really fun sweater. It's an open front cardigan sweater and it's got like some fringe details on it. I loved it. And that's what I love about whatnot is I can sell things based on style, not just brands. So definitely for my whatnot show. This is a Zara dress. It's a newer Zara dress. It's an extra large, I think it's a dress. Yeah, this is a little dress. This is very cute. A little mini dress with lace pleats. I love that. Okay, and then, so I have all of these things I will show you guys in a second. I'm putting them over here for a reason. I have a story to tell you. You guys love a story, don't you? I think this was in there too, but this is just a Nike Kids um, size medium hoodie in black. Okay, then we have, these are Lululemon. Hi, Wonder Under Leggings. I found two or three of these. Um, I was really excited about this. They're a size eight, so a great size. I'm gonna wash these and then put them in tonight's show. Here's the other pair. Um, I believe the same person donated them. Let me double check the size on these. Yep, size eight, newer Wonder Under leggings from Lululemon. This is from the brand Buck Mason, and this is just like a really great basic t-shirt in a size medium. All of that's for whatnot, guys. I'll tell you if it's not for whatnot. This is a Thread and Supply um, jacket. How cool is this? This is like a little utility, like military, not military, just like a little utility jacket. Love that. A Gap denim, or no, J. Crew, J. Crew jeans, size medium women's denim jacket. Denim jackets are definitely hot for fall, of course. Like everyone needs a couple good denim jackets in their collection. So happy to find that. A Barefoot Dreams. Cozy chic, size large sweater. Hi, uh, we love a Barefoot Dreams. My friend found this like Barefoot Dreams chunky knit cardigan today and I was jealous. I was like, what? Not like jealous, like I don't like you. Like jealous, like, wow, that's so cool. I'm so glad you found that, I'm jealous. Like you can be jealous and it doesn't need to be negative. What is this? A piece of lint. Get off of my body, piece of lint. Okay. <laughs> What am I doing with my life? I don't know. L.L. Bean again. Oh, I found this with the other L.L. Bean. This is, I believe, cashmere. Let me double check. Oh, it's so soft, you guys. 100% cashmere, L.L. Bean, medium cardigan. How good is that sweater? Yes. Maybe tonight's show does need to be a cozy show. Like a cozy jacket, jean, jean sweaters, like fall show. That's what we'll do. 28 BDG cargo jeans. Super on trend, definitely going into tonight's show. Love to find BDD jeans. A jacket from J. Crew. This is a men's extra large jacket and it's brand new with tags. So brand new with tags, what? Very on trend for fall. Couldn't leave that bad boy behind. Hopefully someone wants that. This is, okay, so here's the story. There was like a bedding bag that was still zipped up with raw donations. One of my just went off. Um, uh, raw donations means like the store never touched them. So the bins are full of, there's like a couple levels of donations. So there's raw donations, meaning like they never even went through them. Like, like the bedding bag, like they just said, no, they had too much stuff. Um, there's donations where they went through it and then they pulled stuff for the store and they put the other stuff into the bins. And then there's the stuff that was at the store that never sold and came to the bins. And the stuff at the store can be two different things. I have found stuff in the bins that was tagged like two days before I found it. So sometimes they tag stuff and it never even makes its way to the store. That stuff is really good when you can find it. But most of it is stuff that was like on the sales floor. It didn't sell and so it comes to the bins. So anyway, this was a very raw donation and I opened it up and it was all really good kid stuff. So this is a Patagonia Kids Better Sweater in a size 10 or medium, all the stuff is a size 10. And then there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pair of Vineyard Vines size 10 youth shorts, okay? Look at all these, look at all these. Oh my gosh. So what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna wash them and then I'm gonna lock them up on Poshmark. Um, so there's two different types of shorts in here. So there's like their performance shorts and then there's like their normal shorts. So I'll do like the performance shorts in one lot and then I'll probably do 
like a lot of the two blues and then a lot with all three colors. So there's three lots all together in here and I'll probably do like $10 a piece on them. So that's great. I was really excited about that. And then there's also all of these size 10 boy shorts that are like vineyard vines or crew cuts. Um, and I will lot all of these up as well and put them. So yeah, crew cuts, vineyard vines, crew cuts, in your vine. So just some really great kids basics that I can lot up and put on Poshmark and they should do really well. Kids stuff does great for me on Posh. This is a Nike women size large cozy little shorts. There's a little Nike logo. We have a pair of Nike leggings in a size medium. So I'll try and find like a Nike medium top to go with these like basic leggings. Uh, they seem to do better if I lock them up. This green polka dot dress is just, I bought it based on style. I loved it so much. It's just a boutique brand. It's a size large, but I thought it was so, so pretty. I thought it was so pretty. Uh, I couldn't leave it behind. So definitely putting that on whatnot. Da, 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 da. Nike leggings in a size small and they're ombre, really fun. We have, these are for me, they're size 12. Oh my gosh, find of the day. I love these. I have these in the crops and I've been wanting them in full length and these are full length. These are Align joggers, Align joggers in a size 12, my size. I could probably sell these for quite a bit of money, but I've been wanting these and so I am keeping them. Uh, Oh my God, I could not believe I found those. My hair looks wild right now. I was up in a ponytail. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Okay, this jacket, for a second, I thought it was gonna be Pendleton. I really tried away, it was not gonna be Pendleton, but it is bongo, I don't even care. It's a size large and it is like a Southwest. Oh, is this cool? Definitely going on, why not tonight? Definitely. Da, 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 da. Robert Bar Barquette, I believe, I don't know. This is a great brand though. This is a great men's basic brand. No basic medium t-shirt. Da, 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 da. Brand new with tags. This is Elizabeth and James from Kohl's. Don't get too excited, um, but it was brand new and it's just like a really great little red V-neck sweater. And I was like, you know what? That's a great basic. I, I definitely need that and it's brand new. I'm not gonna leave that behind. This is Zara, it's an extra small. And it's really cute because the button up shirt, but then it also has a necktie, which is adorable. Did you know this necktie is called a pussy bow? That is the technical term for it. <laughs> and it always makes people laugh. This is a little romper from Zara, size medium, really cute. Isn't this adorable? It has a little romper at the bottom, yes. And then we have a Nike Tech fleece jacket. This one is youth, I believe. And it's a youth size large. It is in minty mint condition. No flaws, no issues. I believe, let's see. The ring light sometimes brings out grease stains, but I didn't even know we're there. It's fun. It's fun. Travis Matthews, great t-shirt brand, size medium. I got uh, quite a few little men size medium, like t-shirts, basics, and I'll probably lock them up since they're all the same size. This I got based on style, a little sweater. Oh, isn't she cute? You can picture yourself wearing leggings, drinking a cup of coffee, wearing that cutie sweater. I know you can. I know you can. This is a Victoria's Secret size four shirt dress. So sexy. So sexy little shirt dress. Love it. It's an older tag. This is a cool KUHL sweater. It is a size medium. It does need a sweater shave, but I was not gonna leave cool behind just because it needed a sweater shave. That's an easy fix. This is another one that needed a sweater shave, but I loved it. And sweater shaving is like the easiest thing you can do. It's J. Crew. it's a cardigan. It is oversized and cozy and just like so soft. I believe it's made out of wool and we love a good fabric. This one is Murano wool and uh, yeah, Murano wool. And polyamide, poly, what? I don't know, mostly Murano wool, okay? 
<laughs> this is a little like moto kind of jacket. It's by Blank NYC. I love their jackets, you guys. Blank NYC makes some of the cutest jackets, I swear. And this one is no exception. Look at this. I'm going to zip it up so you can see the detailing on it. It's got mesh and it's got like two different zipper options. I'll show you. So you can zip it different ways. I love it. Okay. Hold on. Come here. Come here. All right. So here it is with like this zipper option down the middle, but you can also zip it down the side. And then it has mesh paneling on it. I thought it was so cool. And then the zippers on the sleeves and some rib detailing. Just a really great little jacket. A Lulu's shirt dress or button front dress with the little fluttery sleeves. Ooh, a little flutter sleeve. A daisy print dress from, I believe, Urban Outfitters. Yes. Hi. Oh, this is very 90s. Like the 90s called. They want this dress back. Except we're going to keep it. Uh, soft surroundings top, but it is really pretty. Look at that beading, you guys, and the embroidery. Okay. Soft surroundings. This one is a size petite, small, but love it. Love it. So that's going on whatnot. We still have a whole nother top, guys. Wow, I got a lot of stuff today. I didn't even realize it. This is a Sphinx top. This was a great find. These are Tivy pants in a size eight. And they are, the construction on these is crazy. But side, like snaps down the side. I don't think they're real snaps. They're just details. But you think you can do like the first couple ones. Yeah, you can do a few of them, but not all of them. And these are in immaculate condition. Like crazy. They probably were worn once or twice. I was super stoked on these. I will probably throw those. Oh, I don't know. Maybe what not. Maybe posture. It, it's debatable. This is a jumpsuit from Cloth and Stone. It's a size small and it's from Anthropology. It says Cloth and Stone made with love for Anthropology. And it is my favorite thing in the whole world, a jumpsuit. So I'm going to put that on. Uh, oh, it's an extra small. I might put this on posh. Extra small and whatnot just do not seem to get along. I just don't have very many extra small buyers on whatnot. So I will probably put this on Poshmark. And it might take a minute to sell, but that's okay. It's just so cute. I don't know. Maybe I'll run it. Who knows? This I'm definitely running on whatnot. It is a boutique brand. It is a tweed mini dress with these big bubble sleeves. Okay. Hi. How on trend can you be? Look at this. The glamour. Yes. Okay. That's going on whatnot. <laughs> this is a sweater thingy my bobber how do you work i forget i don't remember i had to figure it out in the store it is oh here's the tag okay it's brand new it's by brave collection i don't know i think that this is the top yes okay this is the top it's a really cool cut though so these were interesting i'm gonna put these on poshmark they are 100 percent linen i love a linen um, and this is by the brand Clementine and I got the skirt and I got the matching top. So it's like a two piece, very lagging look, um, style. I looked this brand up and a lot of the pieces were selling for around a hundred dollars each. So I almost put it back cause I was like, Oh, it's really hard for me to sell that stuff. And I haven't listed on Poshmark, but no, I'll take it and listen on Poshmark for that. What's happening with my hair? Like, what is this? What are you doing here? I didn't say to do that at all, ever. That's what happens when you have naturally curly hair and then you put it up and then it's just like, I'm gonna be wild and free, even though you just washed me yesterday and you look cute and now you look like this. Okay, this is a free people dress. <laughs> free people mini dress in this orange and it has a lace up back. Putting that onto Posh today, or um, why not? A Harley Davidson tee and a size small. I just think it's very cool. We'll put that on uh, whatnot, whatnot, and those do really well. I thought these were skims for a second, but they are Victoria's Secret. I didn't even know Victoria. Oh, is that a hole? Oh, it's just where the elastic is. I'll probably still run them. They're an extra large Victoria's Secret. I will just point that out when I run them. I grabbed the shirt. It was like, 
in the last bin that I really went through when I was like, I need stuff. What happened? The first hour was so good and now there's nothing. Yeah. But I found this and I thought it was very cool. So I don't care what you guys think. This is a Corella DeVille embroidered shirt. And it's just like, someone made this. It's like comfort color. It's on a comfort color tag and a size large. And I thought this would be so cute with like bike shorts or even to go to Disneyland right now when it's super hot out still there. Okay. Because it's like spooky. This is uh, a dress from Old Navy. It's an extra large new with tags and it's a little like floral print, cutie patootie, brand new dress. Put that on whatnot. I love the style of that. These are also waterproof pants. These are from REI. I love picking these up. I will definitely be listing those over on Posh. Nike Pro leggings. Someone found a tub full of new with tag Nike, like a whole tub of it. And it wasn't me. <sighs> Other people found really good stuff around me today. Do you ever have those days of the bins and like everyone is finding crazy stuff and you're finding okay stuff and you're doing good, but their stuff is better than your stuff. Sorry, technical moment. Okay, yeah. So ever have those days, their stuff is better than your stuff and you're like, why? But you still did good, so whatever. That's the nature of the bins. Um, okay, Nike Pro leggings. I showed these to you. They are small. Let's do this. Let's do this. Ooh, a fall flannel from American Eagle. It is so soft and cozy. That's going on whatnot. And it just did more things to my crazy hair. This is um, a little denim wrap shirt from Madewell. Oh my gosh. Yes, I love it. The large. I'm going to put that on whatnot tonight. Plaid pants. Plaid like jogger style pants. How fun are these? They're brand new with tags in a size medium. And these are definitely a whatnot for tonight. Okay, because I want to do like a fall, I think I'm gonna do a fall cozy show. That sounds fun. A, oh, this is one of my favorites. This is a vintage Janssen extra large cardigan. How cool is this sweater? There's the tag. That's going in my fall cozy show. A flannel for my fall cozy show. Hey, I'm getting excited now. It's a size small cabbie flannel. This jacket I actually sold on whatnot last week and I found it again. And last time I had it, it was a small, I think. And everyone was freaking out and they loved it so much. This one's a size medium. Fall cozy show. You got it. Yes. This is a dress from Urban Outfitters. It's a toile print on this really gorgeous dress. This is a very fall dress to me. We have a pair of Hannah Anderson pajamas. These are Christmas print pajamas from Hannah Anderson. They are a woman's or men's size medium, like unisex size medium. Um, and they sell these individual pieces like this. So I have a whole like duffel bag full of <laughs> Hannah Anderson Christmas PJs. So I might just have like a Hannah Anderson Christmas pajama show. I think that'd be fun. These are Nike size medium cargo jogger pants. We have an in and out t-shirt. We have a t-shirt from Madewell that says, let's sail away. We have a misguided, I do not buy this fast fashion brand often, but this was really cool. It is a size six and it is a puffy, like short puffy jacket with a hood. These, this is like so on trend that I definitely had to grab that. Woo! Okay. Wow. Um, this is Torrid. It's a black dress from Torrid in a size two. This is a shirt from Free People in a size medium. And it's just like a studded, floral studded tank top. This would be cute to layer with, honestly. Then I have this like chunky, cozy knit sweater. This one is from Love Stitch and it is a small medium and has a hood and it, it's long and you want to live in it. You want to snuggle in that all day. Okay. That's a snuggly sweater. Only a couple of things left guys. This is a sweatshirt that is just mine. They got mixed in my bin because it was in the back of my car my sweatshirt that's not part of my haul okay um an airy bralette and a size extra small 
And this one's cute. It's long line. It's like this ooh wine color. Has a little bow on the front and then lace on the back. That's yeah, I like that. A t-shirt from Dazed and Confused. I don't think this is vintage. No. But it's cool. It's, it says Dazed and the Confused. You guys remember this movie? It's extra large. This is a um, VRST hoodie. It's a waffle knit men's hoodie. It's in mint condition. Feels brand new in this like heathered gray color. And lastly is this. I grabbed this. I didn't even look at the tag. I couldn't find a tag in it to begin with, but I thought it was like good quality when I touched it. And I was like, this is really cute. It was like the first thing I pulled out of a bin and I was in a hurry. So I just threw it in my cart. And guess what it is? Lululemon! I'm keeping it though. It's too good. This is like right up my alley. So I got myself this Lululemon and the joggers today. What a great day for me. Lastly, I found these two things. I found a iPod, a Nano iPod, eight gigabytes. I'm gonna see if it works. And then if it does, I can probably sell it for around 30 to $40. And then this is a Betsy Johnson purse. How cute is this? Little Betsy Johnson bag. Oh, love it. So yeah, that's my whole haul. I spent $100 on everything. I think I did pretty good. What do you guys think? Did I do good? I think I did. So I'm going to put this video up and then tonight it's Monday. I'm going to run my whatnot show. I hope you guys will come hang out. If there's things that you're interested in, use the link down below. We'll get you $15 off your first purchase. And I hope to see a lot of you guys there. Okay, goodbye. See you later.